Thanks for everybody coming out. Um, I want to thank with Sonny Bottoms and Tim Walker for Horizon Ag for having me. And um, y'all have been a pleasure to work with. I couldn't have done a lot of the stuff I've done with Provisi or any of my rice without y'all. So thank you very much for, for all the help that you've given me. Who, I guess everybody in here is familiar with Provisia and, and is everybody familiar with Provisia and, and what uh, and what the, the goals of Provisia rice system are. And, um, for me, um, <laughs> yeah, I guess y'all we all know that uh, farming is kind of stressful. Uh, I used to be thin, have hair that looked like Tom Cruise, I guess, but uh, something happened with, with uh, farming and uh, now I don't feel that way anymore. <laughs> but I have been farming for 28 years. Um, I was lucky enough to do a shadow with Dr. Bobby Wells, who a lot of you would know, and the variety Wells is named after. Dr. Wells would come to our farm in the late 60s and early 70s and do fertilizer recommendation studies on Perry clay, which we are 90% Perry clay, 90% zero grade rice situation. So um, I don't have many levies. I think I had eight on the entire farm last year. Um, and that's a little um, synopsis of what we do. I don't raise any corn now. There's a friend of mine that's in this room that raises all the corn on our farm now. Thank goodness, because I'm out of the corn business. But we did start zero grade in 2005. Um, we, we transitioned quickly over to zero grade just because soybeans on our type of soil at, at that time just wasn't working out for us. And, and zero grade has been um, a godsend for us, but yet it's created a lot of problems, thus the need for provisional rice. Um, we started seeing some weedy rice problems and resistance to clear field about five years ago, and it happened quick. Um, it got away from me faster than I thought it would. And two years ago, I, I started the uh, provisional rice system, system and uh, and the thing about it, I always rotated my chemistry. I was a fanatic about <laughs> trying to keep my clear field and my conventionals rotated so I wouldn't get the resistance problems. And I did anyway. So um, thank goodness for the Provisia system that came in. And it started in 2018. I, uh, as most of you know, we don't, you know, you, you can't, and Tim, Sonny, you may help me with this. Is it two years after New Path or one year after New Path? It used to be two years. Two years. So I, I had, uh, on all of my Provisia acres, I had had rice behind rice. So I had started, I went to Beyond in 2008. So I haven't had any New Path at all in, in 10 years. Um, so my Provisia is behind uh, a clear field variety. So. Uh, all of my, when I, what I'm going to show you later is kind of the program that I used. So keep in mind, this is rice behind rice. It's continuous rice. All right, our first, I've got four different scenarios here and two drill seeded scenarios and two water seeded scenarios. As you'll see in this first one, I had a, a field that I planted on the 28th of this year. And, and before I get into that, I, I bought a, a 2018, I had 162 acres of Provisia. I water seeded all of it. I water seeded it all at 95 pounds. That's too much. <laughs> but I got lucky because I did it early and we had plenty of geese and ducks left over and they thinned my whole stand out. <laughs> so unlike during the regular season when I can't kill a duck, I've got plenty after the season's over. Um, but so in 2018, uh, it ended up being an optimum stand. But one thing that I'm going to try to emphasize is that seeding rate is very important with Provisia. And I think your seeding date is very important with Provisia. But in this first scenario, I, I went out and, and we ended up drilling 65 pounds. On my particular ground, I was, you know, I was scared that 65 wasn't enough. 65 is plenty. And this year, I'm going to shoot for more in the 60 to 62 range uh, in my drill seeded uh, rice. And then the, when I kind of felt like I was getting, not getting out enough, I upped it to 75 the, the very next day. So you can see everything that we did. We came in with a DAP application. 
And this is just showing you, the, the main thing I wanted to show is that this rice is very economical, economical to grow. The weed control uh, cost is, is, I would say anywhere from 30 to $50 less an acre than what I was doing on other rice systems. And as you can see, it, you know, we came in with Provisia facet permit, you know, about a month after, you know, it was cold. Um, it came up, you know, a little bit slow, but the early season vigor on Provisia is outstanding. I mean, it, it grows, it doesn't check up. Um, I'm very pleased with that. Uh, and, and another reason why I, don't th I think you need to watch your seeding rates and don't let them get too heavy. After that, it was just the 16 ounces of provision, and that's it. Now, Sonny gets mad at me because <laughs> that, I, that I did not use command. Okay, so I'm not recommending that. <laughs> I am saying that, that we just didn't. I, I do command on a lot of things. And, no, don't get mad at me on this. I, I see you over there doing this. And, but uh, I do use command, and I recommend using command. We just weren't able to do it. We didn't do it. It wasn't, you know, anything that I tried to plan or anything. But so we just went in there with 16 ounces of provision, and that's it. That the the weed control was outstanding. I mean, we. The, I'll get into a little of the pros and cons of the whole system here a little bit, but you can go on and see. Again, we're in a rice behind rice, therefore I do use more urea than probably people that are in a rice soybean rotation. Um, one thing that I wanted to point out, we kept this, this 100 pounds of potash and 50 pounds of ammonium sulfate, we got, and I, Sonny, help me remember, it was around June the 15th, somewhere yes, in that area. Was, yeah. We started noticing certain parts of the field, I wish I had those slides that were starting to yellow, they, they weren't, they, you know, the, the height rice difference was quite a bit. We took tissue samples and it came back potash deficient. Um, we, uh, according to our soil test and everything else, it didn't call for potash. You know, we may have been in the low end of normal, but you know, I don't know whether it was just the year, Sonny, and we had talked about, you know, it being such a wet spring that a lot of our potash leached even though it, it doesn't leach though right well it's it a, was it was we saw yeah. a lot of potash deficiency all around all right, south yeah. arkansas with compaction and, and things like that because it was wet well we field work. you could definitely tell and this this particular field is a, is a 60 acre field and half of it was deficient mm -hmm. and so we put in 100 pounds of potash and 50 pounds of ammonium sulfate and within three days you could see a difference and as you'll see down here, this field actually yielded the best of any of my situa any, any of my, my provisional situations. Um, we went with 80 pounds over here just because we felt like we had enough urea, I mean enough nitrogen from the 50 pounds of ammonium sulfate. So I just kind of gives you a comparison. I do think it's really important with provisia. Um, provisia is, is definitely susceptible kernel smut uh, and fall smut and I, we put the, the Quiltex cell at boot split uh, so and I, I think that you could actually go earlier than that don't you Sonny? Uh, so I, I think it's vital to, for that fungicide application to be there with Provisia. See where everybody had stink bug problems I've had to spray every acre I've got stink bugs for um, so that kind of gives you a scenario in, in, a, um, in a dry seed situation. I think what it shows is that you don't need the extra cost for 75 pounds to the acre with provision. It tillers profusely it, uh, and it's got great early season vigor. You just don't need it. All right, this is a water seed system. And we do uh, probably 25% of our acreage is in is water seeded. And um, again, we you go with Dermacore, especially in this situation for rice water weevil, Acromax, and zinc. And you can see how, how much higher our seed costs are there. Now this this was done on 418, seeded on 418, and I had a field right next to it 
that was seated on 5-5. And this is another point I think it is vital for Provisia. Earlier the better. I, I, I just, um, I, I've done it for two years in a row now, and I'm like you, I've heard the stories of the reduced yields and some of the things that you hear from Provisia, and, and yes, it is slightly less than our normal yields are, but nothing like what you, don't, uh, don't be scared of it. The key is to plant it early and plant it at the right seed rate. That's the key. And you'll see that in a month, you know, not even a month difference, the difference in yield here. And I think that's just because it's planted later. Um, I, I did my, I, I had two, I had some rice left over. I didn't want to plant 89 pounds. I didn't want to plant that, okay? Y'all quit. Y'all get mad at me? <laughs> Sonny gets mad at me all the time. I said, why did you plant Yeah, well, I had some seed left over, and so that's why it went out. Another, another reason why, um, you, you don't need, even at 80 pounds, it looked like hairs on a dog's back. I mean, it really did. It was, and, and you, as soon as I brought the water down, I mean, every day you could just tell it was just getting green, and I knew it was too thick. Um, it did, you know, we absolutely, to me, outstanding yields. I think the cost per acre is, is very reasonable and puts me in line uh, with everything else that I do. Uh, so I, I just, I'm, I'm a big fan. I believe that it's, uh, you know, it's got a great fit in, in, uh, in our situation. Are there any questions about any of this? We have a couple of comments. Sure. We're in South Louisiana, mm -hmm. and we've been—I've been dealing with it for, I guess, maybe three years. Mm -hmm. I was lucky enough to get a little demonstration. Team. The kernel smut is terrible. Mm -hmm. It's—it's it's, it's not bad. It's past that. But we're—we're—we're we're, we're learning. We got to go earlier. We're talking about going. Probably PD plus two with a with a uh, propiconazole shot. Okay. And then coming back with uh, and do it again. Yeah, doing doing a a, a quilt or, or stratego application for blast. Sonny, you can help me out on this, but I, we're gonna probably go with like ten ounces of till the first round. I, 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 the first year we did have see quite a bit of kernel smut. It was too thick, and it's and it was always where we over fertilized it on the ends, always. Last year, um, especially in my drill seeding situations where the seeding rate was better, uh, the fertilizer probably management was better. We had very very little kernel smut, and and uh, I think that that's mainly. Uh, I can tell you that in, in this. This 89 pound situation, I was scared to death. Um, I didn't, I don't know whether it's because my pilot tried to act right. Do y'all, any of y'all have problems with pilots? Probably not. Oh, and uh, no, it's just me. God and them. And then yeah, <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's right. And uh, so, uh, uh, you know, I, I, I was scared to death we were going to see it this year, especially in that field, and we didn't have a problem. Now it, it was there, but it wasn't a problem. No, we was we just it was so wet. I mean, yeah. We were, yeah. It, the fields never the, the plants never dried out. You walk out there at three o'clock in the afternoon, no rain, and it just. <laughs> That's right. So yeah. it's, it was a perfect storm for it. Well, I, you know, it, it's it is a it's a concern, and, it, and you need to address it. And that's the way I addressed it this year, as opposed to 2018 in my drill seeding situation. Is that I just reduced it. 65 pounds is plenty. I can't, and, and I listen, and, yeah, and yes, is plenty. yes, and, well, and he's I, got really, really heavy, it's really heavy buckshot, buck so it's a little bit different than what but, but also, it, it, what's interesting is in that 65, I, that was a no till, that was a zero grade that I didn't run up for the prior year, and I did no till it, and every seed came up, but I think with Provisia. Every seed's going to come up anyway, it's, and, and the vigor is outstanding. I mean, it really, it just outgrows everything else. I have a question. No one else. Oh, no, there was one back there. I was going to ask you, Wes, you say it's water seeded, but did you manage it as a dry seeded crop after the water Yes, crop the yes. I, I, I water seeded. 
I, I bought the water down and then I managed it as dry seed from there on out. And, and I do that quite a bit. Now, uh, just to give uh, some more background, you know, I've grown hybrids, I've grown conventionals. I did some diamond work this year with uh, using a big shot of Bolero up front and managed it totally as a water seed situation. And I can tell you that, uh, you know, my red rice pressure, or weedy rice pressure, I got to use the right politically right term now, the weedy rice situation was a little bit less than it was a year before, but not substantially. And, and you know, we need this, we, we need this technology. We, we definitely need, especially for somebody like me that grows continuous rice, I, I just, you know, we, we need to do what we can to preserve this technology. There's nothing else, as Tim will probably address a little bit later, there's just nothing else in the pipeline. Um, I had a question sure. on your ground rig application. Mm -hmm. What was your GPA? Uh, I, I I went uh, twelve gallons. You went twelve. Yeah, okay. I went twelve. I didn't do fifteen, and I didn't do uh, with twelve gallons. Okay. Yeah. And on the airplane, did you have them? I was, they got their seven and a half out that they say is ten. Okay. So uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty, uh, that's three. Uh, uh, how much you get? Ten minus thirty percent discount. So that's uh, uh, okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. I forgot that. Yeah, but uh, uh, but yes, I did do 12, okay. 12, uh, 12 uh, gallon work. Um, the streets, Provisia Rice, it, it did a great job with the weedy rice control. It's not 100%, it is 99. I mean, there was extremely few escapes. And any of the escapes that I had were late enough to where none of them headed out before I harvested them. So uh, again, I think that you know, plant early is a big key. Uh, very cost effective in my situation. Uh, you know, you got to, you, you do have some. You know, comparing it to hybrid now, you know, the seed costs are, are not as high. It's higher than conventionals, but I think with the with the the cost of the weed control, it just fit my situation very well. Straw spring. You can go fall down and never hit the ground with this stuff. I'm telling you, this, this stuff is strong. It's, um, uh, you know, we went through eight, 2018, and um, you know how it was with hurricanes and everything else. We didn't have any of it go down. Um, yields exceeded my expectations. I'm like everybody else. I was thinking, well, I'm going to be lucky to get 150. I, I you know, yes, I've, 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 I've had neighbors that have had it, and, but uh, none of them have had a disaster. Everybody talks about these disasters. We just didn't see it. And, and it, I'm going to, you know, this is going to stay in my core rotation for a long time, I hope. Um, and I think that PVL-01 <coughs> definitely exceeded my expectations. PVL-02 is going to be better. Um, so I, I'm looking forward to nothing but more and more provisia. Milling yield was very good. 2018 out of the field to a meal, so it just directly out of the field to a meal, did 59.69. This year in the bins, everything, I've, I've not had anything that's milled less than a 60.71. So the milling yields have been excellent. Um, all right, the weaknesses. If you saw in the water seed situation, I should have pointed that out, my second shot before pre-flood weed or herbicide application was Loyant and Provisia. I didn't have any smart weed problems there. In the dry seeded situation where I just had Provisia, I did have some smart weed escapes, that especially you can see at the end. Um, there, again, very few weedy rice escapes. Um, and PVL-01 is, is, I'm not gonna say it's tough to harvest, but I do recommend to harvest aid of some sort. We put sodium chlorate on everything because uh, in 2018 I didn't, and it was tough. So I, I definitely recommend putting a harvest aid on for your uh, for your uh, harvest aid. Uh, yes, it is flammable. There's a story behind this. Thanks, Sonny. Um, now, provision your rice is just so hot. Don't park your truck next to it. I went to the cut, my combine broke down. I, instead, I had to walk all the way out. Instead of bringing all my tools after the combine, I drove out there and you see what happened. <laughs> Point is, it's have a fire extinguisher 
that you know where the fire extinguisher was on the combine, but it was behind the ladder. So I uh, didn't get to it in time, and thankfully I, I didn't burn my combine up, but it, uh, that truck had 8,000 miles on it. And uh, this is not so much in 2019, but in 2018, that's exactly how I felt. So uh, Jack Nicholson, you, 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 uh, you got a piece of my heart there, that's for sure. That's how I felt that year. Are there any questions? Wes, what about sheath flight? Uh, yes, uh, it's susceptible to sheath flight. And, uh, did but you just spray once with the fungus? We thing? just did one application of Quiltex cell at boot split. At split. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, I wouldn't say that I saw any more uh, than, you know, another variety such as Diamond or, or Clearfield 153. I don't know, but, uh, uh, but yes, there, I would definitely watch for sheep light. Um, but uh, again, I want to reiterate that, that the I, I would not be scared to plant provisia. Uh, it's worked well for us. Uh, but I think the main thing is to plant early and watch your seed rate. Hey, yeah. Wes, did you see a major difference in escape, in escapes ground rig versus airplane aerial application? Well, that's the hundred million dollar question, isn't it? <laughs> um, I did not in, in uh, with Provisia yet. Uh, again, you know, that's what we said about Clearfield 10 years ago or 15 years ago too. You know, you weren't really seeing a whole lot of problems, but coverage is the key. And, um, you, you know, edges and, and anything, any obstacle you got, you're just not going to get the coverage. And, uh, but no, I did not see a difference yet. But I think it's only a matter of time. In, in your opinion, had you not use the Provisia system on these particular fields, went to your normal program, would you have cut the same yield of rice not that a, you did? Not even close. Thank you. And, and um, you know, I, I, I've fought it for a long time. I've got a, a mud master. I've got, I've done everything I could to control the weedy rice situation. And again, and, and, and Tim and Sonny can talk about this, this is not true red rice. This is not true red rice. This is some kind of, they said, that, uh, the way I, Jared Harkey came to one of my fields. Uh, he's a rice specialist for the University of Arkansas. I had 12 different biotypes in one field. And, and you know, there, we're not pointing fingers at anything here, but the, the deal is it's not like my father's red rice. And uh, I, I, I wish I knew when I went out and I put beyond, or if you're using New Path or whatever, I wish I knew what percentage of red rice or anything that it was controlling. But I, but I don't know that. I, that's the, that was the problem. And these fields were to the point to where I was going to have to start laying them out. And um, so Provisia saved me in that respect. Did you say you put loin with your... I did. Worked, that worked all right. It did. That's not on the label though, so you didn't hear that from me. Oh, it reduced, right? Yeah. Yeah. Did you have any of the O2 this past year? Any what? Uh, no, I did not have any of the O2. Um, I, you know, and, I know, and I'm sure Tim's going to talk all about the O2 later. I'm, I'm excited about it because if it is you know just a, a little bit i think it's going to be an outstanding product uh, and I, but i'm not uh, i'm not going to go all of my provisi acres i'm probably going to have somewhere in the five to six hundred acres of provisia this year and i'm probably hoping to do half and half what was the timing on your weedy rice when you applied the provisia how big was it um oh. in, on the second shot that there was hardly anything that was over two leaf, okay. two to three. And there were, I, and so, well, you you weren't there when that went, but there was hardly anything that was two to three leaf, so it was small. Any other questions? Well, thank you very much, and, and I hope that was helpful. And, and again, don't don't be afraid of this technology. We we need it bad, and, and uh, it's a great product. Thank you.